why hello everybody so today we're going to talk about another simplicity of logic and today's topic will be on the wasting of youth for the preparation of old age now um, the way this is going to go is um, as follows it will first come with a preface with my point of view then after that will be the counter arguments to my um, argument then after that, I will counter that with my point of view and of course we'll sum it up with a conclusion all the way we'll be giving examples um, to help each argument in turn so first thing first my point of view is that basically today's society is askew in how the preparation of old age is done basically people are working their entire lives away to basically so-called die comfortably which I feel is very detrimental to the especially the individual person all right that the old society's views of preparing for old age and all um, tends to make people bitter and literally because they're sad affects their health and everything which actually leads into more problems in the future for them rather than if they had done otherwise so first we're going to go to the counter arguments um, against me all the con common counter arguments I have heard um, when I do s talk about such things is you want to be prepared for old age you know you don't want to die basically alone you don't want to die with uncomfortable or suffering um, and save for a rainy day you know that that common arguments which are actually very good points I actually agree um, for example the debt crisis issues which are coming up so often that um, you don't want to look so blindly with, uh, without looking at the future that you keep spending to the point you dig a hole, a debt hole for yourself you can never come out of and basically you're suffering all the time trying to work off the debt alright that's a very good point but again um, like I preface by saying I'm not advocating blindness to the future I'm advocating that you balance the rewards and the risks I mean the rewards and the suffering you will get from working um, let's say through your 20s 30s and 40s just to die as a general manager um, for your old age for the benefits I mean for the comfort of old age all right so now we're going to the my counter argument to that issue which is um, the most important point is I'll give an example all right to sum it all up um, let's say that a person is giving you let's say God comes down he gives you two examples one is where you're youthful you are young your health is better and it's 20 years you 20 to 20 years you can you youthful you're more youthful you're more younger and your health is better and another is where you're older you are deteriorating but you're maybe wiser hopefully you're wiser um, in your older age and between those two tw 20 years all right he said I'll give you the ability to enjoy one one of the 20 years more which one will you choose now I would argue that most normal people will choose the one where they're younger they have the higher ability to learn uh, and then they're more youthful and healthy all right so now you look at it and now you apply that same theory to your linear life all right so in your linear life let's say for argument's sake all right you start at 20 i'm not even going to consider all the parts where you study like a madman to get good grades and minus all, all of that so that to make the math easier so let's say it's 20 to 40 like the example just now 20 to 40 you're working like a madman you have no life you hate your life you're doing monotonous work just to prepare for old age then you go 40 to 60. I know a lot of people nowadays, the average is 85 to 90 with eight for first world countries where people die. But for, again, simplicity reasons, um, you 40 to 60 is when you pass on. All right. Imagine if you spend the 20, those 20 years, 20 to, 40, 20 to 40, working every day. You you basically become unhealthy because you're unhappy with your life. And you die a general man. And you retire as a general manager now you got 20 to 40 to 60 you got a ton of money all right but here's the thing as you're older we all know the case that you need less because well when you're older you eat less you need less sleep 
and your body is shutting down basically you need less of everything even food or whatever all right the only thing that adds up to it is maybe that you will get sick and you will need to pay the medical bills but other than that for enjoyment's sake you can't do as much as with, with the last 20 years with the last 20 years of when you were youthful again which one will you don't you feel then that the 20 years you spent working like a madman having no life and basically causing your health to deteriorate even worse to the point when you're older is a waste rather would you not have in the last 20 years I mean to 20 to 40 the years that where you were working like a madman take a lower paying job but had a job where it give you the benefit of ha more happiness more time to do your things you want to do so when you're 40 to 60 you're dying yes you might not die in a f goose feathered bed and pillow surrounded by a huge house which you won't need when you die by the way but you're comfortable again what I'm, talk what I'm suggesting is balance but what I'm trying to educate on the fact that the balance right now according to society is very askew because to be honest a lot of people keep on saying that you need to prepare and but I see them just working jobs which they absolutely abhor just so that the excuse is they can die comfortably which I feel is um, detrimental uh, to give a personal example and I will end with this um, as a concluding point I was given a chance for a job now it was a teaching aid job and it was to deal with problem kids with gang problems, smoking problems and all kinds of issues and it was basically a nine hour job in contract but the way the person described it it was definitely more than that it was basically 12 hours because you had to come to school early make sure they come to school and during recess and everything make sure they do their work and when they after school you have to make sure they go home straight so even after after work you have to call them make sure they're at home so basically it's a 12 hour job and for how much you're being paid it was not very good but again opportunities for promotion and all that were there so if I wanted to just do what everybody did in society I would just take that job but I didn't because I don't want to well be a miserable person I'd rather take the job I'm doing now I do a ton of part-time jobs but I have enough for my shares and everything again I won't die super comfortable with Ferraris and all but I'm happy because I managed to do all these videos I have time to do short stories I have time to do all kinds of things and play board games and I'm happy so in that fact I don't regret it at all you know in the future maybe check on me another when I'm 60 and let's see whether I change my view I hope I don't and I still believe in what I say right now and I'll debate that any day thank you very much until next word